What's up, everybody? It's your boy Melvin here for another review. Today, we're going to review the, what are my thoughts on the series Obi-Wan Kenobi that finally concluded this week. Well, it's the last episode, last Wednesday, this Wednesday. But yeah, before we begin, have you subscribed? Did you hit the bell? If not, what are you doing with your life? I mean, literally. What are you doing? Hit the red button, hit the bell so you'll miss a thing, and also like this video if you appreciate the channel so much. If you're new here, do the same as well. And let's the review begin. So yeah. I say everybody's been hyped with the Obi-Wan series since it first came out back in May. 27th or was it 23rd? I don't know. When it first came out, which I think was like the bigger. No one has seen been that hype since the. I think it was was the Mandalorian or the Book of Both Fed. But hey, that's another review for another time. Going to, it's like this was 10 years after the end of Revenge of the Sith. We found Obi Wan Tatooine, losing touch with the Force, trying to hide. Meanwhile, the Inquisitors are hunting down the Jedi. And we thought, oh, it's going to be mostly Obi Wan, but no. Anybody who's, who hadn't seen the series, spoilers alert. I recommend seeing the series if you have Disney Plus. If you're seeing it, well, you're in good company. <laughs> Turns out. We did get some familiar faces again, like Bill Organa, including two new ones, a little Leia, <laughs> more feisty. But hey, I think it was like the mission that we want to try to rescue her from the Inquisitors, which turns out to be a trap because one of them is obsessed with bringing him to Darth Vader, which we did get to see him. In his all powerful form, because hey, from the end of episode, of episode two, we get to see Vader in the back of the tank. Which, if you guys didn't know, in Rogue One, we get to see him, but only briefly since it cuts to see when the back to water was lowering, and we get to see his head with a, like a mask, like a breathing mask when he's in the tank before it ends. With Director Krennic meeting Vader in his castle. It's awesome to see him in his castle again in Mustafar. Which is pretty dope. And looks more like a movie than a series. And also we get to see another side of Vader as in more brutal. Like in the comics. Like murdering villagers. And literally. And boy he, does, he doesn't. <sighs> And we get to see Obi-Wan in his weaker side, which, face it, we don't blame him because, face it, 10 years. You've been on hiding for in, on Tatooine, trying to protect Luke, watching over him. Now you have a new problem that his twin sister been kidnapped. It was a trap ordered by the third sister, who was a former Padawan, who witnessed the Order 66 at the Jedi Temple in Coruscant. And also witnessed Vader a.k.a. Anakin Skywalker, murdering her friends. Yeah. At first, we thought, wait, how does she know about Vader's true identity? Because he will keep that a secret. Anybody who knows that, he immediately kills. Well, except for one, there was this Imperial officer that Vader liked, because he wasn't no coward. I don't know what's his officer's name. And there was another one, some nurse, who was infatuated with him. Crazy. And, and when she saw him without his mask. Trying to pronounce his love. Guess what happened. He ended up murdering her. He ended up killing her. And you can see the expression on his face. He just pulled a lightsaber. I don't know. And killed her. And he said to the, the crew, these troops. Take the trash out. Oh boy. <laughs> that was dark. But back to Kenobi. 
There were some scenes that were pretty funny, like when Obi Wan first saw Vader, his old friend in his new armor. Now, now more machine now than man, and it was trying to run, try to lure him out, try to the hide, but Vader popped out of nowhere in the chat in the dark. Seen the phrase? Well, I think the quote I like is the one saying. What have you become? And Vader replies, I am what you made me. Which is pretty, it was pretty dope. I like that, it was pretty funny. No, and Vader keeps popping out of nowhere. I wouldn't try to run, and he's like, <clears throat> The most climbing part is when he was, when he laid up like a fire pit and dragged Obi Wan on it, is a now you know what it feels like, Obi Wan. I remember the quite a few more like that. That's the thing when you see Vader going ballistic at Obi Wan, like dragging him on a burning gravel. Literally, you hear him screaming, and all the torturers looking at Vader. They bring him to me until he let him, until Rava, no, the other one, nah, not Rava, that's the third sister, I can't remember her name, who helped other Jedi, esca Jedi escape, who sacrificed her life in the next episode, that one. Along with that droid. <laughs> They're just glancing, what, what the, fi the light of the fire, that looks dope, with the fire Lid right in front of his limbs. Damn. I think the most funny part is when it's the fight scene between Rava and Vader. Where it turns out Rava didn't care about being Grand Inquisitor. She wants to kill him as a revenge for what he did to her friends back in Corazon during Order 66 during, at the end of the Clone Wars. But hey. And Vader knew. He wasn't stupid. And Vader taunted her, using the force to block her, her lightsaber, and then grabbing her lightsaber, split it in two. I thought, oh wait, he's gonna do a Palpatine? He's gonna do a double blade? But no, he just gave her half the lightsaber and challenged her until she starts having a flashback of the massacre until Vader impales her with the lightsaber. She survived, though. And then the Grand Inquisitor arrived. Turns out he survived Rava's stab, lightsaber stab. Which we can probably face it. He was in Rebels. He died in Rebels, so in the first season. So that'll be tricky how he appeared in Rebels, but mm, that's a narrow review for another time. But yeah. I think the whole series is pretty good. People say I kind of like it. It did build the suspense, like getting another character. It mentioned some other characters from the Star Wars series, like Quinlan Voss, which, oh, wait, we're going to see him in person? But no, I just mentioned a writing that he left. Back on. Shit. Can't remember the whole, this planet. But yeah. We also get some new tr the Stormtrooper design, like. Per new first troopers, which I like. It's closely similar to the uh, the first troopers from Jedi Fallen Order, but the first trooper armor is more like to that series. Looks more like airborne troopers from the the 212. If you don't remember from Episode Three, Commander Cody, there was a airborne trooper talking to Cody about looking for Obi Wan's body as evidence. That he died in Order 66. That armor. And yet, new Purge Trooper armor, which I kind of like. Including the uh, the Fortress Inquisitorius. That was pretty dope. If you've never played For an Order, that base as well. Including what they kept below. It's like similar to General Grievous. Like, when he killed the Jedi, he keeps like. Their lightsabers or the power ones, you know, hairpiece to the inquisitors. 
It's a it's a Jedi's body and put some type of like carbonite. It's not carbonite. It's like some type of amber. You know, like you find it like in an in insect that trap in M tree sap for millions of years, kind of like that. And you have some familiar Jedi like Master. I can't forget his name. He appeared in the Clone Wars when who helped Ahsoka find her lightsaber. That Jedi. Who became a fan favorite, which when I saw it, I was like, are you kidding me? Snoo. No. That's like, oh my god, they killed that old man? God damn it. And there were other Jedi as well, including the last one that we once saw, a youngling. Still wearing their. We don't know, this is going to be the first one that it was killed by the Inquisitors? We don't know. But it's pretty dark. And we don't, we need to get to see more of it because I love you put like a list of who were the uh, the Jedi the the unfortunate Jedi trapped in that tomb, that trophy room. Yeah, I'm comparing it to General Grievous' trophy room. It's that bodies he collects lightsabers and those head tails. Those ugh, I don't know what you call those. You know you're a Padawan. You have to, like a, a braid a braid those. But yeah, it looks pretty dope. And also the escape. And we get to see Vader try to almost kill Drava, which <laughs> he, just, he, just rose, he just rose his voice. And you know he goes super pissed when he, you hear him march, march like, I think I read a quote today, you knew what would happen. Ah, can't remember, was, was it like that? I don't know. And he was super fast. You saw him. He just dropped. He just lifted her up. About to make the kill shot. But yeah. After that. Plot keeps getting figure and figure. And you put a tracking device in Lola. The little droid looks like. Looks like the damn the damn robot from Flubber. If you haven't seen Flubber, Lola's the mini version of that robot. Oh boy. And also the ultimate climax in the final episode. Which was pretty cool. Well yep. Yeah, Very Rizumi one when he finally regains with the force. And this time, we got a sweet tree. We get to see... Uh, well, if you haven't seen Rogue Rebels, when Ahsoka fought Vader and he managed to light a, a blow on his mask, you get to see half his face. Well, mostly his eye. Okay, they just pulled a Sebastian Shaw on that one because he had his eyebrows. First of all, we all know Vader burned. So he wouldn't even have grow his eyebrows. So, yeah. How would that be possible? And this one, we get to see his full face cling. Also, the scar he had on his head. Where did he got that that scar from? Because when we saw in the back tank, he didn't have it. So we know where he got the scar from. It's from the blow when we want to slice his helmet off. And we get to see him right there. We want seeing his far friend right there, under that armor. And he use a quote from Episode Six: "Then my friend is truly dead." Well, Luke said to Vader, "Then my father is truly dead." But it was pretty cool. The one thing made me laugh is when Vader did. He just did a Darth Maul instead of yelling Kenobi. He said Obi Wan, right there. We was going to yell Kenobi, but that's Darth Maul's thing. He just shot at Obi Wan right there and left him there. Which basically, after that, he managed to get back to Tatooine. Ugh. And it turns out Rava didn't kill Luke because when she was looking at Luke, she sees herself trying to kill herself 
what Vader did to her friend, so he she couldn't do it. Do it. I'm glad, but we don't know what happened to her after the end. What she go? What did she do with her life now? Now she's no longer with the Inquisitors. In uh, well, she's pronounced dead, so I think she has remained hiding. But we don't know what's going to happen to her character. But we're hoping to make a return. We don't know. And also, a bigger surprise at the end. Spoilers alert. We get to see Qui-Gon Jinn again as a Force ghost, which he made the funny remark. Uh, well, it's about time. Th yeah, he actually said that. Which was kind of funny, actually. Him waiting there the whole time, trying to get Obi-Wan to see him. Which is pretty cool. And this ain't... And we get to see Liam Nielsen playing Qui-Gon Jinn again, which is awesome. It was awesome to see him playing the iconic Jedi Master again since episode one. And it's there. I want, to me, I recommend to see the series. If you're a major Star Wars fan of Ruby One, you know what he's been doing between episode three and four. But yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, which episode you'll like more of Obi-Wan and which moment but yeah give this video a like if you love it so much and also if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss any great content but then hey may the force be with you if you want me to do any more of these What's on my what's on my blank, which is what I'm gonna review, or any other of my stories about my youth, just let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you're new, I have to say it again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell. Until then, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. See ya.